Euro Truck Simulator 2 was released all the way back in 2012, still has around 50,000 concurrent players and over 500,000 reviews scoring overwhelmingly positive. And I can only agree with that scoring, especially when played in VR. Because yes, even though it doesn't say that on the Steam page for some strange reason, this game is fully and in my opinion meant to be played in VR. And I will tell you why I think this is such a gem in VR. But first, when starting up the game you would have to set up your profile, which you do in this beautiful retro looking UI from 2012. You give yourself a name name your company and select a picture of your trucker. I went for the most positive looking person, this guy, and oh yeah, I selected the logo that he might have printed on his t-shirt. My home base was in Amsterdam and so I selected my first job. And from the get-go I played this in VR. From that moment you realize just how big these trucks are. Something a flat screen just can't portray. And then, well, I was just taking off. And oh yeah, I made it as immersive as possible. Not by just putting on a VR headset, but I also dusted off my play seat, installed my driver's wheel and well, I became a trucker. Doing some simple jobs, just driving on the highway, it was all fun, but then it turned dark. And with that I mean night fell together with rain. I installed this realistic rain mod and a more realistic vehicle lightning mod. And this turned out to be the most mindful VR game I have played in a long time. Just driving in the dark here in Luxembourg, hearing the rain on the windows, the droplets. Just look at this. At times it really became so realistic and I, I don't know, I just can't describe the feeling I had. The other day someone described it as this game first repels you with its slowness and meaninglessness and then completely absorbs you with these same properties. It's just pure meditation. And I just can't agree more. I installed more and more mods, sound mods, weather mods, and it became better and better. Just look at these couple of situations here. Well, here driving in the middle of nowhere looking for a gas station and I got lots of mods installed. This is just pure ASMR if you ask me. Just, I mean, look at these droplets on the window here. Alright, parking here at the gas station. Making it as realistic as possible. Stopping the engines, putting the window down. And these sounds effect. Also mods by the way, all of these sounds are not by default. Yeah, so good. These little animals in the background, it is so fantastic. By the way, about windows and droplets, rain droplets, look at this. If I put the window down and back up, can you see that? The rain effect on the window to where I stop putting the window down and back up, it just... That's so realistic. I can't stop doing it. I did it everywhere. Because it's just so, <laughs> so good. Oh yeah, and look at this scene here. I mean, if you told me, you, you could tell me this was real life and I would believe you, to be honest. And that feeling when you are in a headset and you're like, wow, this looks really good, is absolutely fantastic, really. I'm just uh, paying the fine, or not the fine here, but the, uh, what is it, the road tax in order to continue. But yeah, this is dark, it's raining. And here during daytime it also looks quite good. There is some road maintenance up ahead. You can see the police vehicles, the uh, the lights, the police lights. It looks really cool, especially when it's raining. When it's fully daytime with sun, it might look a little bit blurry, like in the far distance. That's why I like to play at night. It looks just a bit better. But overall, I am surprised. This game is 10 years old. So yeah, if I had to describe the feeling of playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 in VR, I would describe it as you are riding late at night on the freeway, the orange glow of the sunset surrounds you in the distance as you drive through the blackness with the rain on your window. And at that time, nothingness stirs through your brain. And then you realize in that moment, you are home in your own mind. And that is how I would review Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is what it can do in VR, which I have never felt by just playing a game on a flat screen. This is 
purely just meditation to be honest and it is the same as playing a flight simulator microsoft flight simulator where you are just cruising up in the air you see the sunset you see the clouds you hear the like the the the, the noise of the of the airplane engines and it's just pure relaxation uh, yeah now let me know what you think of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Do you play it in VR, flat screen? Let me know in the comments down below. I am curious to your review about this game. I hope to see you as always in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the latest VR updates. See you all in the next one. Ciao, ciao.